Whether you are a small or a growing content creator on YouTube, what I'm about to show you right now, please just go ahead and do it because it is going to help you to solve a lot of problems that come with YouTube. A lot of complaints you have, a lot of questions you have, a lot of things that bother you about YouTube. And then it's going to also help you to be able to reach out to your audience the right way because you have not communicated someone if that person hasn't understood what you are telling the person. And it doesn't matter your niche, whatever niche you find yourself in, what I'm going to show you on this YouTube studio right now is also applicable to your niche. So if the first thing I'm going to tell you is if you do not have a YouTube studio app, go ahead to either Play Store or App Store, download this app as you need it for today's lesson. Okay. And you can also get your notepad with you. So you can just take down notes as we teach, as I teach rather. And after this, this, you can then go ahead and implement what I have taught you in today's video. And if you do not, as you are implementing, if there's anything you do not understand, you can go back again and watch it. I'm going to make sure I calmly explain everything step by step to you. I'm going to also make sure this video is not too long. Instead, I will create a part two if I need to. Okay, so please, if you've not done this, give this video a thumbs up so that, so that this information can get to a lot of people. And you're always welcome to join this family. That means subscribe now. All right, I'm going to go into my phone screen right now and teach you how to do this okay so this go over to your youtube studio app this is it in case you do not know look at it here tap on it go over to you can see here dashboard content analytics come over to, to analytics okay then you go over to this place that says inspiration i'm going to teach you a couple things today but this is the first thing i want to talk about now when you come over to inspiration this part is very important you're going to see explore topics here now if you have a particular video title or an idea in your mind you can always come here and just tap on it and then search let's assume i search for um maybe how to increase youtube views just a random topic okay and then you search for it now this is a very good thing it is going to show you and it depends on your own niche right so just type in any topic that's related to your niche it's going to show you how high people or how much people are interested in that particular topic right now it says it's a very high interest from my own viewers okay now you can always come here and not before i go there but not just that you can also see top searches what people are searching for as regards that particular topic on youtube you can see here then here also if you come up here you can see some videos that some people have created based on this so this can also help you to be able to use or to gain inspiration from the type their type of titles their type of thumbnails their type of description and all of that you, you can decide to even watch the video to see what they did that helped them to get a lot of views i'm still going to tell you something now another thing is you can come over to searched on youtube you're going to see topics that these people have searched on this one is high volume how to get more views on youtube high volume you can like it you can see i just liked it now this thing is saved you see similar topics on your feed if it's something you don't want come to these three dots here tap on it you can see this okay so if you're not interested put it that you're not interested it's going to remove such topics from your feed now if we go back also if we go back also you can come to any of this this top searches part tap on this arrow that is here now you can see a number of top searches what your viewers are really searching for as regards that particular topic so you can just look through and like the ones that you want as you are liking youtube is going to be adding it to what they are going to be showing you on your feed and the good thing about this is the more you are seeing these similar topics the more it's inspiring you or getting you inspired to create more topics or more content that are related to this kind of um, topics remember this is something that you know that you are very interested in and that is very related to what you do now, the next thing you want to do is to come over still on analytics right go over to content just come down right come down to this place it is going to show you how viewers find you on youtube now you are going to tap on this particular part just tap on that section so it can give you a more elaborate information so now this is it you can see your browse features this way people are getting to 
find your videos more maybe through recommended videos you know so your browse features this is it you people are getting to see you from your channel pages from suggested videos that means after a particular video your video might pop up after that particular video so different different ones other youtube features now if you go down here you're going to see end screens so that means if that means your some of your end screens are actually bringing viewers to your to your um page okay now you can see 0 0.6 percent this one is not just on a particular video like for all your viewers so imagine i'm having over in the past how many let me just say in the past 28 days because we are looking at the past 28 days you can see it's 28 d that means 28 days so in the past 28 days i've been able to have i think about over seventy five thousand viewers views or so so 0 0.6 percent of those people of that seventy five thousand people were the ones that watched through end screens so you can imagine the number of people that watch through end screens so that means you can start putting end screens on your videos through your playlist you can start using playlist if you've not created create it related shorts external you know i've told you that shorts are actually important forget all those things that people are telling you don't create shorts it's not, it is good youtube wouldn't have created it if it if shorts wouldn't help your channel just use it the right way external it could be some people sharing my because i know people my lovely viewers share my videos then vertical live feed feed there's my live stream hashtags video cards all those cards that you usually see that i put that i probably feel people do not even click on it people actually do they click on it okay hashtag pages i don't really really use hashtags for my videos but since i see that i've seen that people watch also through hashtags i can start putting it so it's going to help you to know all of these things now if you go over to audience okay if you go over to audience this place if you have been uploading if you have enough videos on your channel it is going to bring up um it is going to bring up this particular section for you here you're going to know what time your viewers are mainly on youtube you can see the very bright parts that means there are main, many of your viewers are on youtube this particular time do you understand so then if you come over here to age this is very important age gender very important you can see that here i have all ages watching my videos from age 13 to over 65 years i'm going to put up something now so you see from age 13 to over 65 years i have both males and females watching my videos but this particular feature is something many people do not take note of then some people even know this exists but they do not take note of this and this thing is going to help you to be able to reach out to your audience in the right way the moment you realize that you have maybe teenagers or not just teenagers watching your video you also have the aged ones watching your video it's going to help you to be able to fashion your video in such a way that you'll be able to reach out to every one of them for example in your choice of text or the way you put your text sometimes you might put your text and your text might just appear very tiny now any teenager might be able to see that do you understand but the aged ones who might have some visual impairments might not be able to read that very well so you want to make your text to be bold okay if you know that you also have people who are of age maybe over 65 watching your videos another thing is maybe your pace i know this one is something i'm also trying to work on on how fast you are or how slow you are in your videos also your choice of words also matters a lot because some people there are some people that the way you talk you know your choice of words just matter because you know that you're not talking to just teenagers you're talking to the aged ones now you can relate this to your own demographics okay you know whether they are just things that are watching you you know whether they are just females that are watching you whether they are just males whether there's a comp combination of different different um people who are watching your videos this way you'll be able to really communicate to a lot of them and it's going to help your videos very well because the more people stay or the longer people stay on your videos the more youtube is going to recommend those videos to a lot more people and of course the more watch hours you get from those videos the next thing you go over to still on analytics go over to overview okay there is something very important now you could go down to you see this part that says top content this part is very important if you tap on it you can, or let's just tap on it 
you are going to see your first 10 top content the top content that are doing very well videos that are gaining a lot of traction a lot of views a lot of engagement on your video the very on your channel the very first 10 videos if you go back this one is the first five videos that are doing very well on your channel one thing you need to take note of about this particular section is sometimes you might upload a particular video that video might not do well initially but as time goes on that video will start to gain traction so you want to keep checking this particular um feature there are sometimes you upload a particular video and that video goes viral immediately and a month later it will be another video that did might that probably didn't even go viral that moment that will start going viral at that moment or that will start um getting you more engagement so you need to keep on looking at this top section you can then sit down and study what and what you did on these particular videos that made them to do well maybe your thumbnails maybe your title choice maybe your description choice maybe your um the way you started your video your intro your hooks and everything if you want a part two just let me know in the comment section so i can film it i don't want this one to be extremely long okay so thank you very much for watching go ahead and watch the playlist on the screen because it's going to really reveal a lot about youtube see you i'll see you on my next one please don't skip my ads thank you bye